Hello and welcome to a new video on the Crypto2 YouTube channel. In this video I want to show you how you can create Morse code using Crypto2. I also want to give you a short history of the Morse code. Then I want to show you how does the Morse code work. And finally we want to have a look at the Morse code in Crypto2. Keep in mind that in this video you will not learn how to Morse by yourself. For this I will link to a really nice video, I think it was from the US Army, below this video. There you can learn how, <laughs> how you can actually morse by yourself. Now let's have a look at the history. In 1820 Hans Christian Orsted discovered the electromagnetism. Shortly after that in 1824 William Sturgeon invented the electromagnet. And now it was possible to control an electromagnet using electric pulses sent over a wire. Then Samuel Morse, Joseph Henry and Alfred Whale developed an electric telegraph system. And in 1837, Morse developed the first version of a Morse code. In the mid of the 1840s, the American Morse code, also known as Railroad Morse, was created by Samuel Morse and Alfred Whale. And of course, Morse code was used a lot during World War I and World War II for communication. On the right side here, you see Samuel Morse in 1840. Let's have a look how Morse code actually works. But first of all, some thoughts on Morse code. And Morse code is used for communication. And in contrast to ciphers, it is not intended for any security purposes. And as I already said, Morse code was used in World War I and World War II. And in World War II, it was sent over radio. And of course, with Morse code, both sender and receiver have to know the same code. And as I said, it's not intended for a security purpose. So every third party who is able to receive the Morse message also understands the message if it's not encrypted. And therefore messages also are and were encrypted, for instance with the Enigma, before sending and then decrypted after receiving. Let's have a look at the actual Morse code. And Morse code consists of different elements. First we have the so-called DITs, which are encoded using a dot. And then we have DAS which are encoded using a dash. And the third element we need with Morse code are the pauses and they are really important. And we have pauses for instance between letters, there we have spaces, and we have pauses between words. These are encoded using slashes. When you think of Morse codes, you probably think of sounds. And the dits are played with short pulses, the das are played with long pulses, and the pause is, of course, silence. With Morse code also, the timing is important. And we measure the timing with Morse codes with ticks. And a dit is one tick in time, and a da is three ticks in time. And also the pauses are described with ticks. For instance, we have a short pause with one tick between dits and das. Then we have longer pauses, three ticks between letters, and then we have even longer pauses, seven ticks between the words. You will hear this when I play examples of Morse code later in this video. And here I have some examples for Morse encoded letters and words. And with Morse code, every letter in the alphabet, all digits and some special characters have their unique code words. For example, the E is only a single dot. In contrast to this, the X are four symbols. It is a dot, a dash, a dash, and a dot. And here you see that when Morse invented the Morse code, he made a difference between very frequent letters like the E and less frequent letters like the X. So when you encode words with Morse code, it is as short as possible due to this encoding scheme. And here I have two other examples. I have a word, hello, which is encoded as H, E L L O, and then I have Hello World, which is encoded here as H E L L O, then a slash W O R L D. What you see here is a pause between the words, and the spaces between the dits and das are the short pauses. And I colored the letters here and the dits and das here so that you see what matches. Here are two examples for two different. Morse encodings. I have here a 1911 chart of the standard American Morse characters 
And I have here a chart with the international Morse code. And this Morse code is also implemented in Crypto2 and we will have a look later on this. And here you also see that very frequent letters are encoded with short code words and less frequent letters like X and Z and the digits here are encoded with very long code words. Now let's have a look at Morse code in Crypto2. I'm here now in Crypto2 and I want to show you the Morse code implementation of Crypto2. A hint, when you watch this video using headphones, you should take care that your sound is not too loud when I play the Morse code. To find the Morse code in Crypto2, I go to the templates and search for Morse. Here I have the Morse code template, I double click it and open it. In the template you see the international Morse code on the right side here, in this table. And we have two Morse code components, one for encoding and one for decoding. And these components implement the international Morse code. You can enter your message here, for instance, hello world. And then you just press play. And you see here the encoding. I make it a little bigger. That's a wrong one. This one. Same here. Now we have everything on 16. And as you can see, the H here is encoded as 1, 1, 2, 3, 4 dots. And when we look in the table, it's 1, 2, 3, 4 dots for the H, and so on. And of course, as with every component in Crypto2, you can keep on typing. And Crypto2 Live encodes it to Morse and decodes it to Morse. And we can stop the template here. And when you go to the decoding component here and go to the settings, you can change this to play. And I want to show you now every letter in the alphabet. And to do so, I change the text input here to A. When I now press play, the Morse encoder will encode all the letters to their Morse equivalent and the decoder then will play these letters. So let's hear it. component played the Morse code as if it would be only a single word. Since we want to hear each letter individually, I now remove this here, then I copy our Morse code here, put it into this text input, and then I will enter two pauses. And I enter these two pauses at each letter so that we can hear the next time I play this, each letter on its own, and not as a combined word that is Morse. And I connect to the Morse decoder, and let's try it again. B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. And as you have seen here, while the Morse decoder is playing our code here, you can see the percentage value, how far it went through the Morse code. And you could also invent your own Morse code here by just typing bits and das. 
And since I did not press stop, it plays my code live. The problem is that when I change anything here, it will play everything from the beginning. So if I add an additional did, you will hear three dits. So to create your own code, you should stop it. And then you can enter dits and does and pauses and then you can play it. And Crypto 2 will keep the timing as you define it here. So between the dits and das you will have one tick pause and this here is a pause for words. And you can also add shorter pauses between the dits and das. I have to stop this of course. So you should hear a difference between these three dits that have no pauses and these three dits with pauses. So you have a pause between this here and you have a shorter pause between this dits here. And now for fun, let's create an original Enigma encrypted message played with Morse. For that, I go to the start center and search for our Enigma machine. And then here we have our Enigma machine. So you can change the settings of the machine here. Let's change the initial rotor setting and the rotors we use and the reflector to be. If you don't know how the Enigma machine works, I already made a video about this, or I also made two videos about this, one about the machine and one about the crypt analysis, so you may have a look at these. And here we want to create a message. Need support. Feind greift an, enemy is attacking, sofort, immediately. And then we can just press play. And then we have our original Enigma encrypted message. Copy this with Ctrl C. Then we go to Crypto2 in the Morse code template. And let's play an original Enigma message. final thing I want to show you, and for this I only use one letter, is that you also can change the frequency of the Morse code component. Just go to the settings here and then let's change the frequency to 300. Okay, this was probably a little short. So let's ABC. And 300. And you can also increase the frequency. To 900, for example. And we can change it back to decode. And I made a mistake here. So this should have been a slash and this also should have been a slash. And this is everything I wanted to show you with Morse code in Crypto 2. I hope you liked the video. If yes, please give a thumbs up. If no, you know what to do. Give a thumbs down. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.